Now, he's never done anything like this before in his life, but a factory worker from County Durham has decided to cycle around the world and to do it, he's going to sell all of his possessions to pay for the trip. His name's Tom Roberts. He's from Fos- Frosterley in Weirdale. Morning, Tom. Hi, good morning. What on earth has possessed you to do this? I think it's a, a form of midlife crisis, I think. <laughs> Midlife crisis. Yeah. My um, son said to me the other day, most 50-year-olds go out and buy a Porsche and marry a model. You know, he said, you're going around the world on a push bike. <laughs> what reaction have you had from the rest of your family and friends? Very supportive. Extremely su- surprisingly so. People are a bit amazed by it, but generally very supportive. You've worked at Kerry Foods in, uh, in County Durham for the last 16 years. Yeah. You're going to finish at the end of April. That's right. And then set off in July. That's hopefully at the beginning of May. M- at the beginning of May? May, yeah. So it's going to be, I'll finish up work and hopefully I'll be on my way. Are you prepared? Yes, I, I'm, I'm pre- I think I'm as prepared as one can be for this type of thing. Um, you know, you don't know what's going to happen on the road. But I think I've thought of everything. I'm sure there'll be a few things I haven't thought of, but, you know, that's the adventure, isn't it? Now, usually when we talk about charity runs and, and so on, there, there's a, a real challenge involved. But when you look at your map, you're starting at John O'Groats. That's right. That's the kind of nearest to home, because then you go off to the Congo. That's right. Are you, are you not a little bit nervous about that? Um, yes, I am, if I'm honest. Um... But it's, you know, people have done it before. The route that I'm riding has been ridden before. Um, And I've got the support of the charity I'm actually doing this for, Action Aid. They do a tremendous amount of work in Africa, the rest of the world as well. And they have, as I say, they're working in a number of African countries. And I'll be visiting the work they're doing, the the countries they're working in. So that will... (laughs) give me a bit of strength, really, um, knowing that, you know, if anything did go dramatically wrong, there would be people around that I could contact. But aside from that, it's you and your push bike and a, I'm hoping, a sleeping bag and a tent, at that's least, right. and an elastoplast, Tom. A couple of elastoplasts, yeah. And that's about it, and we'll just go along and see what, what the road has to offer. Which places are you most excited about? Because, I mean, you're going through Russia and China. It's, it, it's like the holiday. It's holiday heaven, some of the places you're going to. That's the plan. Um, the, Africa excites me. I was born there. Well, having been born there and grown up there, um, Africa excites me because I know what it's all about, and it's, it's an, an amazing place. The other continent that really fascinates me is South America. It's somewhere I've never been before. Um, and it's also very undeveloped and tremendous history. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that. And, of course, then there's America, which um, we all know what America is all about. But I'm looking forward to seeing that because I've never been before. And Alaska. I, I mean, this is really, it's going to be extraordinary. The weird thing is, though, most of us think about, oh, I might be able to take two weeks off in a row for my holiday. You're going to be away for potentially six years. Well, yeah, that, that's what I believe it sh- it, it'll take me. Um, that's what I plan for anyway, six years. And if it takes longer, it takes longer because I've retired. Well, I will be in a few weeks' time retiring, and, that, and that'll be the end of it. And, you know, if I can spend the rest of my retirement plodding about, I'll be quite happy to do that. <laughs> plodding about. Not quite that, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Best of luck with this. I think we'll keep in touch with you and see how this goes. Right. Um, because at the moment you are selling your possessions. You've got rid of the uh, car so far. Uh, the car's gone. Um, the bits and pieces are going slowly, slowly. I've got a few months to go and hopefully everything will be gone. Um, I wonder if it would be possible to give you my website address where if people want to sponsor me, they can. Please do. It's www.itsalongway.me.uk. <laughs> 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 it's a long way dot what dot me dot uk yeah brilliant that is a, a, a perfect title i think anybody would agree with that tom roberts lovely to speak to you best of luck get yourself some vaseline as well i imagine I probably need that thank you kindly <laughs> take care tom Cheers. roberts Bye-bye. there wonderful ow six-year holiday ow that's not a holiday <laughs> that's pain